Phone Pull up at the spot, plus I'm looking great. It's lonely at the top, but niggas want your place. Don't drop the top, watch your hater face. Pay the cost to be the boss, I'm trying to get my plate. Pull up at the spot, plus I'm looking great. It's lonely at the top, but niggas want your place. Don't drop the top, watch your hater face. Pay the cost to be the boss, I'm trying to get my plate. Ready to take the jump like Eva Knievel When I get my plate, it's time to feed my pee Every time I'm stepping out, I got a double D Still that same old nigga in that Buick Reed Always kept it copacetic, kept it fucking real Really rather count no hundreds like the way they pee And bitch, I'm from the nine, got a whip of pee Never cared about a bitch or the way she feels now, what I'm finna give y'all today is an exclusive, something that's deep in the files. You know what I'm saying? Um, woof. Me and my partner named JJ, Johnny Arnold. We have a friend named, we'll call him L. You know what I'm saying? And actually, it's a piece of his name. You know, I'm just gonna do the whole thing, but, um, L is, you know, a partner or whatever, and, you know, he into the little robbery, little backdoor kick thing, or how. Now, this is the, this is the, um, this is the, the time when Techwood, everybody that's f from the A, or got people down here in the A, know that Techwood is a, what was a, Big spot in Atlanta, you know, Techwood Projects, right off of Georgia Tech. You know what I'm saying? So all that stuff connected. Those are the projects that's located down now where the school Georgia Tech is. You had Georgia, no, I mean, you had Techwood, which was the projects right down the street from Georgia Tech. The Atlanta Project, one of the roughest, toughest, dope infested areas. Homies getting money on uh, 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 divas, getting money type place. Big apartment complex, take wood that is, and was one of the biggest projects in Atlanta. Big shot out to all my partners and all the ladies uh, that's from Tech Wood, represent Tech Wood. Big shots out to the whole Tech Wood family, man. And with that being said, y'all know who Charles Black is. Charles Black. Everybody know who he was during that time. Big shots out to Charles Black, Charles Black family. You know, you know, the street legend. You know what I'm saying? And I'm from College Park and knew about Charles Black. You know what I'm saying? Charles Black, like I say, we talking about keys of cocaine, pounds of weed. He did his thing for 20 plus years. Supplying 90% of Atlanta out of Tech Wood Projects. It's real talk, man. Well, we had a partner named L, and L somehow stumbled upon information about Charles Black stash locations for us, the keys of cocaine, and the stash location about money in Ohio. So, the homie L <laughs> took it upon himself, man, I'm, I'm, finna, I'm finna get Charles. Now, everybody knew Charles was a street nigga. And everybody knew that Charles didn't play no games. Still right now to this day, homie don't play no games. And one thing that Charles didn't play is somebody taking something from him. And that's real talk, man. You know what I'm saying? You ain't finna take nothing from Charles Black. Just straight up. And not have consequences. Well, L decided that he was gonna rob Charles Black. And not actually, literally rob him in person with the gun and draw down on him like that. Nobody had the balls. You know what I'm saying? To do that. You know, when you want something done like that, you don't have to come on down to College Park. 
Not that none of my Atlanta homies didn't put it down because a lot of them put it down. But, you know, keep it real, mid-90s, 2000s, that's what College Park was known for. Jacking, robbing, carjacking, armed robbing. Straight up. Nothing else. You know what I'm saying? That's how we did down there. Well, he ended up going into uh, one of Charles' stash spot houses. Apartment houses, whichever one it was. And when I say L, now this, no, like, like I say, y'all know this ain't kept. L is a piece of his name. Charles Black is a real person. Y'all ask y'all partners from Atlanta who Charles Black is. You can ask anybody if you, anybody from Atlanta know who Charles Black is. Well, he found one of Charles Black, screw me, stash house. And that man went in there, and when he came out, L had done Rob Charles Black for 15 keys of cocaine and 500,000 cash. Real talk, man. Not only that, man, listen to this, y'all. When he had that money, man, and all that dope, you know, he's showing love to everybody. You know what I'm saying? For the low or for free, you hit homie. But he enjoyed himself while he had that money. And what I say, what I mean by that is, man, that man get that money, y'all, and just like he won a Super Bowl, what he do? That man goes to Disney World. <laughs> like he had like the Super Bowl. He hit the Super Keys. <laughs> 15 keys of cocaine, 500,000. That man leave and go down to Orlando, Florida, and he go to the um, um, Dead and World and the Universal Studio as if he had a won a Super Bowl. When I say room service every day of the week, two, three times a day, he stayed in probably the F-Cock Center. Yep, the F-Cock Center, where the train pulled right up to his hotel room, though. Or the hotel room, like whatever it was. That's how it was set up. That man lived, that man, that man stayed down there and ball, man. That man probably spent 30, 40,000 on Mickey Mouse. <laughs> and he spent, spent 20,000 on Mickey Mouse and, 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 and 20,000 on, on Minnie Mouse and 10 on Daffy, uh, on Donna. <laughs> Five on Goofy. <laughs> <laughs> that man had a Disney anniversary party. But, man, like I say, man, that man went down to Disney World. That man was living high notch. I'm talking about, he, he probably had the hotel room next to um, um, anybody. You know what I'm saying? He probably had, you know, next to Kim Kardashian or next to uh, 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 Paris Hilton. It's real talk, man. These people was... Hey, not Kim, but like Paris. These people was in the hotel, man. Why he down now? He like he a celebrity, man. Man got a half a million and fifteen keys of cocaine. We talking about each key back then. We talking about each key was going about thirty thousand. This this back in the day. Think about it. Thirty thousand times fifteen. Y'all do the math because I can't. <laughs> but yeah, man. Keeping it real though, man. Home went down and did we're home live. This ball, all that. But just like everybody else, even myself, you know you have to face the music sometimes. And when I say, man, he faced the music when Charles Black and his homies caught up with this guy, man. They caught up with L. It's real talk, man. And what I'm finna tell y'all. This ain't nobody telling me like somebody told me what happened to L. This, these words right here comes out his mouth. He tell what happened, what they did to him. They kidnapped him. When they found him, found him, they kidnapped him. According to my 500,000, 15 keys. It could have been one or the other, 500,000 by itself. Or the 15 keys by itself. Your ass still getting kidnapped. Man, they kidnapped him. They had homes in a warehouse, man. Think about it. We talking about Charles Black. We talking about a million dollar man that's from the block, man. I don't know if y'all familiar with that movie, Pope Fiction, with Samuel Jackson and John Travolta. I don't know if y'all remember 
what happened when they ran into that pawn shop, Bruce Willis and Ballhead dude. And you remember what happened to Ballhead dude in that movie? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they kidnapped home. They tortured home. Burnt him with eyes, spoons on his toes, his fingers, his fingernails off, his ass, his balls. Every like they they burnt him, man. And then you know what them folks end up doing, man. Not only did they beat him, you know they beat him every second of the day that it just like felt like punching him. Because of course he had gave a lot of dope, sold a lot of dope. He had spent a lot of money when they caught him. And he didn't have anything on him like $100,000 and two keys when they catch him. They didn't get anything back. That's why they was torturing him. Man, they tortured L, man. Beat him. They burnt him. What is the most craziest thing I, I ever heard, but it don't amaze me with this world today. Charles Black and his people got some unstraight guys. I have to say it that way. Because, you know, I have family members that's unstraight. I love you, but I ever did respect them doing that to them, especially in front of me. I'm going to handle you. They're between them and God. You know what I'm saying? So you don't condone, you don't judge, you don't do none of that. I ain't never done it. I just don't like to say the wrong word because people get offended about these different words. You know what I'm saying? So I have to say I'm straight. But throughout all the beating, throughout all the burning, all the torture, he get, Charles Black get a few of his unstraight friends Come in now and bust them down, man. They had them tied up, just bent them over and, and, and paid them folks, the straight guys, to do him, man. Have sex with him. Why? This is this how it was going down in Atlanta back then, man. That man robbed that man of 500,000, man. I'm going to say that again for y'all, man. 500,000. Those of y'all who slow, layman terms, uh, have a meal. Real talk, man. And 15 keys. And they wanted that shit back. What they did. They tortured them. They beat them. And they had some of their unstraight partners or whoever they hired to come in and have sex with the boy. Man. This real, man. You only get stories like this. That's real life stories. Right here on Underground Source TV with your host, TV and film producer, Don Tree Schnox, a.k.a. OG Black Butt 3700, man. I want to thank y'all for tuning in. And I want to talk to y'all again real quick about those memberships. Y'all check out these memberships, man, because just like this exclusive right here, we got a lot of exclusive shows that's only going to be for members only, man. So y'all go ahead and get y'all memberships now. This real talk. Go ahead and get the membership now. If y'all haven't subscribed, y'all make sure y'all please subscribe and like and share. Check out my YouTube shops, man. The Raw and Crew, the name, no, the, 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 the whole, everything I got right now is for you guys, man. Um, The Raw and Crew shirts and apparel. That's the name of my company, my group that I'm in, OG Black Bart, along with, what's up, Big Beezy, you know what I'm saying? Drew Mason, Chris Gaines, Trey Knox. Man, it's going down right now, man. Man, um, Lil Jason, you know what I'm saying? Lil Jason, I got to get everybody in. Lil Jason, Roe. Producer David Hempfield, man, Bangladesh, Big Shot, Side 50 Cent, everybody, man, it's going down. Video Wayne, my brother, we've been doing it for 25 years. Let's go, let's go, let's go. YouTube shops, y'all, make sure y'all check them out. And listen, man, y'all get, a, y'all get um, a chance. Make sure y'all go and just like my music. Go check it out, man. I got a couple of little, little video visualizer on my page of some of the new music I got coming out, man. Y'all make sure y'all go check out OG Black Bart, man, 3700. Thank y'all for tuning in. Call it Paul, stand up. Never care about a bitch or the way she feels. You bitch ass niggas get up out your feelings. Out your feelings. It's money on the table, let's go get it. Let's go get it. All that crab in the bucket, shit, forget it. Forget it. When you step off in my presence, I'm the realest. I'm the realest. In my own lane, bitch can't take me off my pivot. Off my pivot. I'm so low key, don't know nigga know my business. Know my business. Get your money right and just play your position. Play your part. Out the mud, still forever muddy vision. Pull up at the spot, plus I'm looking great. 
It's lonely at the top, but niggas want your place. Don't drop the top, watch your hater face. Pay the cost to be the boss, I'm trying to get my plate. Pull up at the spot, plus I'm looking great. It's lonely at the top, but niggas want your place. Go on, drop the top, watch your hater face. Pay the cost to be the boss, I'm trying to get my plate. Chilling with my yellow bitch, she my little canary.